Speaking of in-studio guests, this being the month for Apple Harvest, Mary Beth Blair is here. MB, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you guys? Awesome. Thanks for asking. Yeah. You brought a guest with you today? I did. Do you want me to do the introduction? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. So with us today is, this is Brittany Senate, and she is our maid-elect, which means she will be crowned our 44th Queen Pomona. Uh, in the, the coronation, which is open to the public and free uh, to come to it at Airborne Event Center, will be next Friday, October the 20th. And so this is Brittany. Thank you. Yes. Now, this is uh, a last name. If you are a sports fan in this area, you know the name Senate, C E N A T E. Uh, and she has a famous dad and famous uncle. <laughs> and she, she took that coaching on to the diamond herself. Uh, although she says you weren't, you were not coached by your dad or and your I uncle, not, Brittany. I was not. My two older sisters had that privilege. Your two older sisters were coached yes. by them. Okay, yeah. and uh, your dad and I, I told you something that I don't. You, maybe you didn't know, but you you know your dad's brother Josh mm -hmm. was I think the best baseball player I've ever seen in the Eastern Panhandle. He was drafted in uh, the, what they used to call sandwich picks back then. It was after the first, but before the second. So technically the first round. I think it was 98 or 99. The Orioles had like six of these. So they they uh, they had six or seven first round draft picks. And Josh Sennett was one of those. He was a lefty pitcher who threw a fastball somewhere in the uh, upper 90s. Wow. And uh, hit, I think he must have batted 400 his senior year. He's just an amazing baseball player. Like I said, the, so the, simply the best I've seen in the Eastern Panhandle. So uh, I expect that you must have dominated on the diamond as well during your softball career, Miss Senate. I tried my best, yeah. Yeah? yeah. How's your wrist? It's good now. It's, it's all healed it's good now. now. All, right. all healed. You got injured during a rundown your senior year. I did. I did. It was 11 weeks, the consequences of 11 weeks being in a cast. But mm -hmm. um, my senior year, I was in a rundown. It was during spring break. Mm -hmm. It was one of just a scrimmage game we were having. I don't even remember the school. I just remember their colors were yellow and green, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> don't even remember what school it was. <laughs> and um, I just remember getting in this rundown with this girl, and I was chasing her. She turned around last second, I guess, probably thought that the ball was like going that way so then um when she turned around it was just my wrist was right there and all her body weight went right into it so it kind of the hyper extended i guess and cracked it and of course the bone that's right there is like the most like takes the longest to heal and i didn't know that until after my season when i decided oh i'm gonna play but it, my mom might kill me for saying this but we went to the doctor <laughs> um two weeks after like it happened because i was like mom it's not getting any better like we gotta we gotta figure something out and she was like okay, I just don't have a good feeling about this. And I was like, okay, what, we just got to go. And they actually came in and they were like, okay, so we're going to have to put you in a cast. And then like left to go get all this stuff. And mom was like, oh my gosh, we're going to have to cut your glove. Like, how are we going to figure it out that you can still play while having a cast on? And I'm like, um, I don't know if we can do that. <laughs> but, so they to cut your glove? <laughs> yes, cut my glove to fit my cast. Uh -huh. And so they actually came back in and they were like, no, it looks like it's actually healing. So if you choose to play, then just uh, wrap it up and take ibuprofen. And I was like, you gave me the choice. So I'm going to do what I think is best for my team, not necessarily for myself and my friends. So but you, you, you gutted it out. I gutted it out, and I made it worse, apparently. <laughs> so. so you ended up in a cast for? 11 weeks post-season, yep. But it's healed now. Yeah, it's all healed now. But she had to retire, no college ball yeah. for her, because that was she is at Shepherd University now. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was yeah. kind of my, I was always back and forth between whether I wanted to play college ball or not, and that was the moment that I was like, you know what, I think it's probably best if I just... Were, were you a lefty hitter or a righty? Righty. My dad always said, because my middle sister, she he kind of like worked his way to make her the lefty. He always said that he wished that I was the lefty because I had the speed. <laughs> it's good to know that the Senate family, and your dad, Mike Senate, yes. was a very good baseball player yes. too. Yeah. It's good to know that he prioritized what's important in life, yes. which is getting a lefty <laughs> hitter out of the family. Yes. So uh, you're at Shepherd. You're studying what? Business administration, and then I have a minor in marketing, and my concentration is management. Okay, and you are the maid elect for Queen Pomona. I am. And when do you, when do you become the actual queen? Uh, next Friday at six at Airborne Church. Mm -hmm. All right, and tell me your journey to becoming maid elect. How many times you've been involved in apple harvest? I actually was only a part of like the going to events one year. It was the year that my sister Madison 
she was actually the maid, I believe in 2019? 2019, yes. 2019, mm -hmm. she was the maid. Or they, yes, yes, the maid. Yes, she was a maid. Mm -hmm. And um, I went to her events throughout there. So that was the only year. And then obviously had sports all throughout the rest of the years. And mm -hmm. then last year I had a few, new few of the girls. And I was like, you know what? It was always something I was interested in from that weekend. So then when I saw the girls, I had a few friends on the court. I was like, I think this is something that I want to do. So then in March, I believe it was, I submitted my application. And then I got a email talking about you have an interview and then when you go in for the interview it's like a panel my panel is six of the ladies on the board and they just ask you questions regarding like the apple like agriculture apple industry and then it's kind of like a point system so it's like a grading getting graded so mm -hmm. there's like six different categories you're graded one to ten the highest one that has the most at the end wins being elect so that's well, congratulations <laughs> thank you so what are the elements on the application? It was really just about yourself, your birth certificate. They need to know community service. They need to know um, like what you're doing now, what grade you are. You, you can only be from 17 to 22 to do it. So like age and everything is really important for them. Um, things that you're involved, like school activities, all things like that. So then it's really yeah. based around your community service and everything. And also, uh, one of the things that the board judges on is their knowledge of the Apple industry. We, we, we expect anyone applying for this um, position that they would study about the Apple industry, you know, learn uh, unique facts to share during their reign and as they are the ambassador for our festival we want them to to be knowledgeable on all things um apples so Brittany got to learn a lot of that yes. along the way as well how did you prepare um it was really just studying so courtney actually sent out an email and it was which is another lady on the board uh -huh. she sent out an email and it kind of said here's some things to know but then as you get to learn it's just like more information yeah, sure. that you get along the way so it was really just having those questions and then kind of going based off that just really things like west virginia based but also like apples and did general. you visit some of the local orchards i did not visit some of the local orchards i have in the past but yeah. not yeah. in preparation yeah. for it this. she does have a unique uh tie to the apple industry you should tell them about that i do so years and years ago my great grandparents they actually worked in and like worked as operators of an apple orchard but when it was kind of like repurposed and to a new development, that's actually where my parents built their house that I've been living in my whole life. So I'm kind of living on the apple orchard <laughs> that my great grandparents used to live in <laughs> or used to work in. Sure. Yeah. Now, uh, next Friday is going to be the big day, and then you you reign for a year. Yes. What is expected of you during this one year? Really, just going around and spreading knowledge about the apple industry and going to different schools or you can request like for Queen, Pomo Queen Pomona to come to like your events or whatever. And um, she goes, just talks to the kids or talks to the people, talks about the apple industry, agriculture here, what it means to West Virginia, especially the Eastern Panhandle here, what it really means here. And just talking about how it brings a community together. Do, will you travel out of the region? Um, if. That is what's if somebody's asked, asked, asked yeah, that's right. but, but as a course. normal course, are you asked to appear out of the region very much? I don't think. I think her primary yeah. duties will, you know, be within the area or the state of West Virginia. Yeah. 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 Well, you mentioned that you have a job and yes. you're going to school. Yes. Now, Queen Pomona. How much? What's the time commitment for this? It's so far. It's been kind of just waiting until this moment. I really won't know what. Well, the you're time not a working royal yet. <laughs> So that's not until the weekend. You're going to do yes. a reality show. <laughs> Definitely the, the, the two weeks leading up and, and just kind of getting started mm -hmm. this weekend with the Fall Classic Thursdays, the uh, Ruby and Rhinestone. Mm -hmm. She'll be making an appearance along with her court there at a fashion show. And then the Fall Classics this weekend. And then next week it really ramps up with our gala on Thursday. And then uh, the Pomona Ladies Brunch and the Coronation and the Ball and <laughs> the Parade the next day and then all the events at the at the festival. So four days of just back to back. Mm -hmm. She won't have much time to think no. or breathe, but <laughs> just you know enjoy that. I, we we met last week and just kind of got ready for what's ahead. And I just told her to you know it, take a deep breath and enjoy it all and soak it all up and 
be in the moment because it's a lot for it's a lot for all of us who are involved in the festival there's yeah. a lot that happens within those four days so and then after that it'll kind of just yeah. be parades and mm -hmm. schools and be more of a a schedule that's more manageable yes. <laughs> you, mentioned, you mentioned the court who, are, who yes. are the ladies on the court gosh well there's two maids and then 13 i believe princesses yeah. okay. and then we have a minor court so i'd have to have my list in front of me to go down and i can do that real yeah. quick if we have time but yes there's a lot of amazing young women one of the okay. things that's neat is this is open to uh young ladies in the eastern panhandle a lot of times there's a misconception because the bulk of the events are held in berkeley county that it's just for berkeley county schools uh girls to compete in but Brittany is actually a graduate of Washington High School. She's from Jefferson County. And we've had other uh, queens who have been from Jefferson County. We love when that happens. I mean, we don't know that. That's not a part of the judging system, where you're from or trying to uh, hopefully get one from this county. That that's not that doesn't factor in at all. But it is nice because a lot of people don't think Jefferson is a part yeah. of this festival, and it very much is. So, um, But this year's court is represented by all a lot, I would say, all high schools. I know we have Musselman, Martinsburg, I believe Hedgesville and Spring Mills, and of course Washington. I don't know if anyone from Jefferson High School is on the court. No one this year from um, Morgan County, but we have in years past. So yeah, it'll be a great representation. And I did not, I was not a part of Brittany's, uh, this year's court um, judging system. I have judged before in the past, and I can just tell you, it is always an amazing group of young women who are accomplished, who are well poised, who could, any one of them um, could represent our festival, but there's just always one, as I was telling Brittany, that just that day, there's just something about their interview and something about their connection and their passion that just, it just comes out on top. And that was Brittany this year, and it, but doesn't disqualify any of the other girls. You have an amazing court. They'll have a great time. And um, But I'm excited for Brittany because she's going to do a fantastic job. She's so well-spoken and s just such a sweet individual. I've really enjoyed getting to know her. So, so, the, so, so the selection is made on the interview. Yes, is it correct? is. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I have, I have brought with me an apple. Oh, oh. test. This is a gala <laughs> apple. Yes, a very small gala. Tiny little, <laughs> tiny little gala apple. Yes. Right? And uh, um, I'm going to give you uh, give you guys some apple trivia here. All we'll right. We'll see how, how Bill oh, no. and I John do. I should have warned do. you we were going to have a quiz. Rob loves the quizzes. All right. Now, I'm going to give you a number, and you tell me, are there more or less in terms of the number of apple varieties that have been identified as having been grown worldwide, okay? 3,000. More. Are, are there more or less than 3,000 different apple varieties? More. 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 Queen? I would say more. You would say more? Are there more or less than 5,000 apple varieties that have been identified? Less. Less, says Gilstrap. Bill? I'm saying more. I'm thinking around 6,000. Bill's more. Queen? Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I want to say less. You but want to, like but will you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say less, but I feel like it's close. In the United States, more than 2,500 varieties are grown. However, worldwide, 7,500 wow. wow. different types Don't of worry. apples have been identified. Don't worry, Beth. Right? I, 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 did, I didn't get that, but I gave you one. Oh, okay. All right, God. That's, that's why you have a PhD, <laughs> yeah. but I don't. Yes, exactly. Have you ever the met someone who home. peels an orange, uh, an, ap an apple, and then, and then strings out the peel? Yes. Mr. Gilstrap, you do that? Yeah, I do. How are you good at that? Like, are you, is that like something? You should come down to our apple peeling contest. <laughs> Brittany will be in that as yeah. well, and the court and the public can be involved, and we see who can have the longest, longest peel. No. Yes. Well, the what, trick is what, to not get greedy and yeah. take too big a bite with <laughs> yeah. the blade. You've got, <laughs> no, you got to keep thin ribbons. Yeah. And yeah. what's the device you use? Do you use the uh, the apple peeler, which is fairly easy, or the old paring knife? Which well, is much I think more we difficult. have paring knives for the girls when they yeah. are on the court. She's like, I gotta like, practice. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> the the it's definitely a technique to it. Yeah, but you got an apple peeler. It's but you're right. Easy. Don't yeah. take too um, deep of a cut. It's mm -hmm. a very thin cut, but not too thin because then you could. Then you you yes, cut through. It's gotta be very sharp, and you keep the pressure consistent yeah. it's, it's all definitely practice if you want to win and <laughs> oh, you're yeah. competitive oh, so yeah. you're going to want to win according to the guinness world book of records without going over what is the longest apple peel ever successfully oh, gosh. completed without going over you can guess in number of feet queen how big was the apple 
That's a good Yeah, yeah good you got to know though. how big the apple got to give us all the information. That's Rob. utterly irrelevant. <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> Thank you. It <laughs> Thank you, John. It's an absolute uh, number. He's stulling. That's a hint. Double so is stulling. Hints. You don't get hints. <laughs> without going over. Well, you get to go last because you're the queen. John, without going in, over. In feet? In feet. Uh, 110. Bill, 110 oh feet. 110. No, 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 no. Bill, now oh, we're not talking about that gala arm. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a good size apple and you take a very thin, they're going for the record. So if you right. take a, an eighth of an inch, a sliver, slice over well, large. Well, okay, apple, what's the width then? It's oh got to be a gosh. very, he's very a, narrow he's, width. He is stalling. Yeah, no. Clearly Bill, you're trying to run stalling. out the clock. Thin feet. I know. So that's Come ridiculous. on, Bill. That's ridiculous. Uh, Just four and a half feet. Mary Beth, why don't you let's have you guess on this too. Four I'll go five. Five feet, Queen? I was going to say nine. I don't know why nine was the number that I wanted. According to the Guinness World <laughs> Book of Records, Kathy Waffler Madison in 1976 peeled an apple that strung together 172 feet, four Goodness, inches of peel. John Mr. Gilstrap. Wow. How could they do that? Must have been an apple the size of a Ooh. pumpkin. And, you know, <laughs> and oh a very gosh, I and can't very imagine. Narrow. What was very the narrow. age of the woman who peeled it? My uh, hands would be... Long? When she started or when she My hands would be frozen. My, she was 16 was, years old at the time. I was going to yeah. say, I would, my hands would be cramping from like... like you, can you... How steady and how like... Oh, Rob, pressure you that. know, you're about to make me question your source or your oh fact. Guinness Book of Records. Guinness Book of Records. How many How many lines? Reel them in, reel them in. <laughs> How many lines can you draw on an apple? Oh my goodness. How long that did it take her to very, say? Yes, it it that's different say. though. That has to be a tiny, tiny, tiny width. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. It's a little tiny. Wow. The woman grew up to be a sales manager for an apple tree nursery, by the way. So cool. she obviously, cool. uh, apples are grown in how many states in America? Without, it, without going over, Mr. Gilstrap, you get first guess. 50. All 50, you say, Bill? How many states did Johnny Appleseed visit? Why do you never did, answer the did, question? Why are you always running out the clock? Yeah. I would Give say, me a number. You know I'd he 50. came I'd to say West Virginia, you say 50? Johnny Appleseed. Yeah. Mary Beth? No, I wouldn't say 50. I'm, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to go with 25. 25? All right, Queen, it's up to you. Somewhere between maybe 25 and 50 puts you in the middle of these folks. 37. <laughs> and I have. Ooh. Am I right? 36 is wow. the number. Wait, see, can she see your screen? Reason. No. Yeah. There's <laughs> a reason. See? Why not reason. 50? Why not? Well, I guess Nevada might, might be a problem. Well, deserts would be a difficult place to grow. <laughs> uh, yeah, but right. there's vegetation. I mean, there's irrigation in deserts. There's cactus yeah. in deserts, Bill. <laughs> I'm not eating a cactus. <laughs> what kind of cactus? There's a problem with that. Apple right cactus. Apple you cactus. know, there is an apple cactus. <laughs> All right. So uh, it takes uh, how many apples to make one gallon of apple cider? Mary Beth? How many apples? How many apples to make one gallon of apple cider? 25. Bill? Don't, oh, don't stall. Yeah, uh, let's say 250. 250, John. To make a gallon? Oh, my yeah. gosh. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of apples. It, okay, it's you not, said 25? Yes. I, I'll, I'll do without going over, right? Without going over. 24. <laughs> Queen? 23. <laughs> it takes 36 apples uh, to create one gallon of apples. Well, I was, I was closer. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Yeah. I'm much closer. But you went over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's make this uh, maybe the last question here. Uh, the first apple nursery was opened in Flushing, New York. What year was that, Bill Stubblefield? <laughs> you asked me. <laughs> I was around. I was around. Uh, uh, 1746. John Gilstrap? The first apple nursery? First apple nursery was opened in Flushing, New York. What year was that? Um, I will, uh, 1804. Mary Beth? I'm going to say uh, 1788. Queen? 1838. The answer, 1730. Oh. No, I no, it? no. I was closer. Where were you? Yeah. <laughs> but you went over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 1736. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. I'll, I'll give you one last one. Uh, the, oh, my goodness. Uh, the average large apple. I think you need one of apple. Uh, uh, something that relates to our region, not the world. <laughs> Come on. We're talking about apple industry locally. The average large apple has how many calories in it, John? 100. Bill? One hundred and one. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Price is right over here. Eighty. Eighty, 80? calories. Ninety. One thirty. One thirty. Is again. the answer. Which closest. One? Closest. Without going over. I think, but 
you said the average. A large right? size apple. Average large because size. How competitive is this room? No, but like, you have to think about it. I'm sure the different varieties have different. Right. Yeah, like you think about the honey crisp, and that apple and, is and, so big. And the small it's gala. so juicy. Now, yeah. next year, bring your attorneys with you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you, so we can litigate this process. It's crazy. Yeah. Crazy, right. crazy. Uh, so, uh, again, we got a, just a couple of minutes left here. Uh, Mary Beth, uh, yes. final word from you before we go to the queen. Final word Made would be elect. make sure that even if it's just one event that you would get involved in the Apple Harvest Festival and experience that community uh, celebration about our apple heritage. Hey, also get our magazine is out in the t out around town. It has all the events, lots of articles. You can get to know Brittany better and all about her. But please look for that. Our schedule of events is on our website. So there's too many for me to like do a rundown. It's a lot of stuff. So hop on msahf.com. And you're back two more times before the festival. I'm back lots. So, you know, just <laughs> Six, as many times 16th as you and like. The 19th. I'd come every day. I'd have something to talk about every day. There's that many events if you wanted me to. We could take you up on that. <laughs> it is October. That's apple harvest it is. season. So, yeah. I didn't think the Apple Butter Festival was this past weekend, wasn't it? It was, right? yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, Made elect, Brittany Senate. I want to say that alongside the, all the events that she was talking about, we actually added a new one this year, which is the carnival. Oh, so, yes. definitely yes. come out as much as you can, mm -hmm. or even just for your kids, a weekend away from school, yeah. get their minds off of things, come out and enjoy. But I really want to thank you guys for having me. When and where is Carnival? The Carnival is going to be down at the youth fairground. So Saturday Are we talking and Ferris Sunday. wheel and th that yeah, kind of thing? It will be, it's a family, mm -hmm. uh, Snyder Family Amusement, I believe is the mm -hmm. name of it, but they are bringing a family carnival. So it may not be exactly all the thrill ride mm -hmm. seekers uh, rides that we have in like at the youth fairgrounds in the summertime but it's definitely going to be family oriented and, and we'll have a, a carousel and I believe a Ferris wheel definitely both of those um, but yeah so that's something also we added that Jeannie Hamilton is the chairperson of that event and she really just wanted to give families more things down at the fairgrounds on Saturday and Sunday to come to we also really quickly we have uh, more uh, live performers this year than we have had in past festivals Saturday, we, we added a bluegrass band on Saturday, Stony Creek Bluegrass. And on Sunday, from 1, I believe it's 1.30 to 5.30, we are featuring all of the local high schools. And this year, Washington High, this is one, it's been a long time, if ever, we've had a, a Jefferson County School uh, musical group come, and they're coming. So we'll have Musselman, Hedgesville, Spring Mills, uh, who am I missing? Martinsburg, Washington, all <laughs> performing that Sunday afternoon, as well as uh, the Apollo and Terry Joe's. So we have all kinds of local entertainment on mm -hmm. Sunday. Of course, you can buy apple pies. We have apple pie auction. So many things to do. And if you enjoy running, there's also an apple trample. Apple trample. That's right. You can still register for that. <laughs> All right, very good. And where do you find out more information about the Apple Harvest Festival? You can follow us on Facebook. Everyone's on Facebook, right? That's easy. We always have everything there, mm -hmm. but also our website, msahf.com. Good stuff. And congratulations, made elect Brittany Senate. Thank you. And uh, make sure you tell your uncle that you now know his <laughs> I <secrets>. will. I <laughs> will. He's been modest for too long. <laughs> <laughs> my my dental hygienist went to school with him. Nice. Yeah. Apparently he's uh, quite the billiard player too. Oh. Shoots a mean game of pool, I'm told. Oh. Okay. Well, he tried teaching us sometimes, but it just we're not It's not we're happening. Not there. <laughs>